everybody got their own opinion on what they thought it was. You feel me? So I'm going to just tell you like this. You see that, right? That back door, right? You see the wait. You see the back door, right? I want y'all to see the back door, man. Look, you see it? If y'all can see the red shirt, man, I'm for show sure y'all. So y'all, hey, people be tweaking. Hey, happy Sunday, everybody's. You feel me? On my on my kids, folks. Like at the end of the day, for like, I want to show y'all something. You see the red shirt. Why did they show that? You see him right there? Do you see him right there? That's his brother, boy. Do y'all see y'all see these bags in their hands? They carry that bag around for one reason, one reason only. The blickies and the jury. Like at the end of the day, you gotta understand what's really going on, man. Hey, people, wait, let me wait. One more, one more what's your name, man? Hey, I want y'all to really look at this man and take heed to this man and really take notes on this man because people sit here and look at this from a whole different perspective. When in all actual reality, you can really look at this and you know, you can you you can get a whole different outlook of what people be trying to had you feel me y'all saw he here y'all read the hey y'all read the title y'all saw the thumbnail boy why was he in chicago april 17th you hear me why was boosie in chicago april 17th with 42 dub with duke the jeweler watch how he pull out the stacks I'm gonna show y'all something. That's why they mad at. That's why they don't like my channel. Cause I show them what what what's going on, boy. At the end of the day, boy, why was he out there, boy? For one reason and one reason only, because he knew for a fact that he was cool with him. You gotta understand, Duke was messing with everybody, boy. Y'all got to understand, boy, his history, boy. Y'all ain't from a lot of people not from the block, boy, and a lot of people straight cap. Y'all think this cap hit the like button. If y'all think that Boosie knew him a long time ago and Boosie been coming back and forth messing with him, buying pieces, y'all got to understand the bag had the pieces. The Louis Duffel had the pieces, man. I know a lot of people not familiar with this type of stuff that go on man in these streets man but you really got to understand man this is something that we all can take heed to and take notes on because this could really mess up boosie whole situation and when people really look at it him right there boy boy he ran up on boosie boosie boy boosie knew what it was boy Boosie knew what it was. At the end of the day, we know for a fact that there's only a few people who can really say it was a countless act. And some people don't really pay attention to what they do. They just sit back and dwell on stuff that they got no control over. Like, you got to understand how this work, man. Like, when you in the street, man, you got to keep it on you, boy. Them bags had it in there. Y'all got to understand, man. His cousin said the bags, the bags had the blickies, man. Y'all already got to understand, man. Dude with the orange, he was the one that ran up on Boosie while he was at the car. Y'all saw the thumbnail. Y'all read the title, man. Hit the like button. Y'all think this cap hit the like button, boy. If y'all think that Boosie made a bad mistake and only reason why they had to check in is because all them pulled up on Boosie. You got to really pay attention to what's going on, man. They pulled up on Boosie with the black Gucci bag. And you know what was in there. Y'all really got to pay attention to it, man. The black Gucci bag, man. And then when you really look at it, man, he had it. He had a sack. He had more money than half of the rappers. He was getting their money. Like, y'all got to understand, man. He was getting their money. He was getting their money checking the bag at the end of the day.
He had the blicky on him. The blicky was in the bag. If you really look at it, the blicky was in the bag. That played a role in this, man. We know for a fact that the people sit back and they look at this. Boy, I'm not even answering no more, boy. I'm not answering no more, boy. On my kids, boy. I'm not answering no more, boy. I got something for you, boy. At the end of the day, we know for a fact people can sit there and hit the like button if you're new to the channel. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you rock it with Duke the Jeweler. You feel me? If y'all rock it with 093, boy. If y'all rock it with Boosie, man, hit the like button. If y'all rocking with 093, hit the like button, boy, because you can't pick sides in certain situations. And when you really look at it, Boosie knew him, and his nephew wanted the jury. You got to understand, a lot of the young guys, they be instantly, the big homie be like, hey, calm down, boy. Phone bring you with me no more. Next thing you know, the little guy try to enter in instantly, plot, you feel me, on a plug. You feel me? Like, this goes to show, like, people need to pay attention to the dude in the back by the light. You see him, boy. Boy, all them, they pulled up on Boosie. Boosie was scared, boy. And once Boosie saw the black book bag, he know what that reminded him of. The Louis Duffels. You got to understand, man, dude, instantly, he ran after, back up. Hey, instead of the the 26-year-old dude hopping out the passenger or the back seat. He hopped out the back, the, the hatch part, the trunk, boy. This how you know it was, boy, y'all know what it was. Y'all know what it was. It was a setup, boy. They instantly ran up on Duke, instantly took everything, the Louis bags, everything, boy. They even took the big bag. And Boosie said that they didn't take nothing. How could somebody, how could Boosie go on there and say, yeah, they, they, they took this from him. It, it, they, it looked like they was trying to take this from him. You feel me? And then next thing you know, he come back on a whole nother channel and be like, hey, man, they ain't even, you know, they, they left everything. They left the change and everything. Man, they ain't leave the change. Y'all see dude running with the bag. Y'all see dude running with the bag, boy. At the end of the day, we know for a fact that the people who play the role in, he right here with 42 Doug, Boosie on the side. Y'all got to understand, 42 Doug right here on the floor. Boosie, that's why he, he don't want to show Boosie face no more since Boosie tried to flip on him when they went out of the country. Like, y'all got to understand what's going on, man. This something that is a revolving door, and people looking at this like 42 Doug are being able to tell people, like, yeah, yeah, that was Boosie. Boosie, Boosie been on. You feel me? You know how you cross-examine somebody and then you instantly, you feel me? Like, Duke ain't playing no games. He was instantly. Yeah, read the comment, man. Y'all see the comment, man. They thought it was a game, man. This ain't no game because people sit here and look at this and take this from a whole different perspective. But you know how we get out. Hit the like button, boy. Hit the subscribe button, boy. If you're new to the channel, boy, if you think this cap Hit the like button, boy. If you think that Boosie tweet, and because Boosie already knew that 42 Thug had connections with folks. You feel me? Folks from off 93rd. He got connections with everybody. Anybody who passed, say for instance, you on 49th or you on even 47 in the damn round. Anybody.